Okay, you guys, be prepared for the most unbelievable collection of mid-century modern you've ever seen. Hi, Hi Emily. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Welcome to the ranch. Well, you look amazing, first of all. Aww. What a gorgeous, gorgeous dress. So pretty on you and those beautiful ruby slippers. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So let's have a look at your absolutely spellbinding and hypnotizing and mesmerizing collection of mid-century, saving the Christmas tree for last. So we have the pink. You know I'm all about the pink. Yes, you are. And all you guys, the all the time. look at this beautiful living room set. I love those two chairs. They're like brother and sister. The lamps are new. I just couldn't get over the diamonds, the diamonds on the shade. And this clock on the wall and it's two little candle holder friends. Would you believe that we matched up the candle holders separately? I wouldn't, <laughs> but I, knowing you, I would because you have magical powers. Oops, you just got a sneak of the Christmas tree about this sofa. Where do we begin to behold the glory? Look at those arms, you guys. Look at that. Do you call this frise? This is frise, yes, isn't it? With those great metallic threads in it. I always think it looks like a car. It has like that grill kind of deal with the with the gold. You're right. Oh, oh there is a stuff. grill down there. <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. And this gorgeous coffee table, the free form, and these beautiful figurines. Oh, you make a perfect backdrop for them. Ah, oh, see? That's where I was inspired from. I can tell. <laughs> everywhere you look, you guys, there's something everywhere. I mean, there is so much. What an incredible collection. Oh, here's a little Christmas happening right here. Oh, my really good friend Justin actually lent me the deers. These futuristic fallout on Instagram, and he is Mr. Vintage Christmas. Futuristic fallout. Yes. And, and then there's a little more. I have love in my heart for all things kitschy, even some of the modern stuff you'll see throughout. How can you say no to a pink ceramic Christmas tree, regardless of when it was made? Still fabulous. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Shall we have a look inside the uh, rest of the house? Absolutely. Come on down. Take the tour. <laughs> so this is our master bedroom. Again, pink, because, you know, waking up to a pink room puts everyone in a good mood. You just can't be sad in a pink room. Just like the way I like to dance and twirl, I collect dancing lamps. Emily twirls, collects twirling lamps. Exactly. Oh, there's so many of them. <laughs> Where do we begin? It's a dance party. I like to think of my whole house as a dance party. Even my furniture, I prefer it to look like it can walk and move. <laughs> Wow, look at these beautiful lampshades. So are these moss lamps? Yes, they are. And they were made in Los Angeles? Mm-hmm. I, the first thing I ever collected were lucite purses. And I think that's one of the reasons I love my moss lamps so much, because they're lucite. They have the, oh, plastic. those elements of it. Exactly. This is plastic, you guys. Look how beautiful really that is. Plastic. And the dancing young lady there. And I love these other little lamps and every other thing you have in here. <laughs> Look at how beautiful the little poodles are, you guys. This beautiful hanging lamp. Another gorgeous mid-50s chair. And hello, Pee-wee. We love you. <laughs> these beautiful... Tin art. I found those at the flea market here in LA, uh, Rose Bowl. And it was so funny because we'd seen them on a cross-country trip two different places in Ohio. And they were super expensive. I was like, I've never seen them before. I love them. I need them. But I'm not going to pay that for them because I'm stubborn like that. And then we got back like two months later. We're at the flea market. Popped out. 60 bucks for the pair. Those were just meant to be mine. <laughs> it was meant for you. Right? The reason I didn't take them home from Ohio. And this is my dress room. Your dressing room? My dressing room. <laughs> well, we're coming in. Now. So, uh, the aforementioned oh. purses, some of them. You love your purse collection. Look, purse you guys, purse. how beautiful these are. What's cool is they're, I mean, I think they're all works of art and 
all of that, but they're very fragile because it was really before we were super good at making plastic. So not that many of them survived. And to me, that makes it extra special when I find something beautiful that was taken care of or loved and survived for that long. And then this is one of my husband's favorite lamps, the flame. He found that in Palm Springs at the flea market. Pro not his proudest flea market find, but pretty close. Definitely up there. <laughs> Again, you guys, I cannot believe how many beautiful uh, sofas you have. This one, the split <laughs> sofa. This one, I actually got to take the plastic off of. Um, it was in some woman's like formal living room for 60 some years. So I took the plastic covering off of it and it was like brand new. I feel this huge sense of responsibility to keep it like clean and pristine. So nobody sits on it? <laughs> Very rarely. Now, is this some of the artwork from the art director of I Love Lucy, Carlo? It sure is. Or that's rumored that that's what he did. But yes, they're definitely Carlo of Hollywood. And this has, this is a little trio of paintings. Dancers, of course. What can I say? Yes, and I let's not this. let's not ignore this lamp in the corner. And oh, this very geometric piece. And that, everywhere you look, these drapes, you guys, look at the pattern on that. Unbelievable. Very mid-century modern. And of course, Haywood Wakefield Furniture. Yes. This is one of my favorite groups. What is this one called? Um, it's not Sculptura, is it? Mm, yes. It is. Beautiful. I love it with the legs because it's like ready to walk. So this was like my huge obsession was to have a spinning poop. One of the first things like I ever wanted when I started doing vintage furniture. I was like, I need to have a poof to sit on that spins. It's very thrilled, you know, because I'm always spinning. Oh, you are. You know when uh, sitting. You are. You want to spin again? Aww. I want. This is not a lot of room in here. Uh oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, that came from an amazing estate sale in Spring Valley. And I just, like, they had to have been custom, all those stars. They had, um, I have a matching one that was like a bathroom fixture. It's actually up in our bathroom. There's just so much everywhere you look. Look, pink lampshades, you guys, from Moss. And there's a spinorama for you. This one was actually made by our friend in uh, My Pink Martian. He does reproductions. He's like Mr. Moss Lamp. Well, he does a beautiful job. I don't know anyone that can do what he does. Uh -oh. It's truly a work of art. I ran into something. It's I a ran poodle. Into the, the poodle it's magazine eight. rack. Whoa. I know, the tour continues. We have mixed things up a bit. So this is probably my most mod room, least kitsch. No pink in here. This is probably the only room in the entire house where there's no pink, so. No pink. No pink. The pink is obviously your favorite room. color. The guest room. <laughs> the guest room. I love so, this hanging lamp. How rare is the day you're ever gonna find anything like that. I had those globes forever, like six years until I found the base to rewire them to. <laughs> what is the name of this bedroom set? Is this Brasilia? Yes, it is. It is. This is Brasilia and we finally have all the pieces. The record cabinet was a huge win when we found that. How about this television? It's an RCA Deluxe. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> it turns on. And uh, this majestic lamp right here, is that what this one is? Uh, it's a Luxcraft technically, but Lux yes, craft? they were contemporaries of Majestic from Canada. And what year do you think it is? 60. Oh, that late? Yeah. Oh, I was thinking it was more 50s. I would say it's probably like early 60s. And how about this? Another coal like lamp. Side. See, again, I can't, I'm a little loose like magpie. Can't help it. Loose like <laughs> magpie, loose you call yourself? Yes. Another one? Oh, you have three of these. <laughs> you guys are absolutely on a roll. And this gorgeous lamp right here and everything else on this wall. It's always time for mid-century. How about this? We didn't look at this really unusual piece, you guys. This is a Peter Piper weather station. And to me, that is just such a next level of inventiveness to why everyone else would just have a dial on the wall. And here's this amazing sculptural work of art to do the same thing. 
Why wouldn't you want that? This beautiful pole lamp as well. I mean, you guys just really never stop. And oh, this gorgeous piece of Brasilia. We found that for $20 at Kobe Swap Meet. It's a miracle. They said, we're not reloading it, take it. <laughs> Don't we love these planters and these drapes? I know. <laughs> The hall twirl. Any excuse. <laughs> Any excuse. Okay, you guys, now we're gonna go into the, the uh, what do you call this room, the den? Uh, the den I call is like the tiki area. Okay. Right down here. This is kind of my like formal dining room. And then I could think of this as my reading nook. Cozy up by the fireplace. Those are my faux logs. They're uh, fire friendly here in California. <laughs> Amazing blow molds. Mostly came from Justin. I'm obsessed with this because the, oh, obsessed with what? the little deers, they look like they're flying from a distance because they're on the little on the little uh, thing. I think that's just like the cutest thing ever. They do. <laughs> and this cart. Our cart came from our last road trip. Obsessed with that giant shaker, the way it's like tall and skinny. I've literally never seen one that shape before. I thought that was amazing. Oh, this shaker right mm -hmm. here, tall and skinny. <laughs> um, and this beautiful wall piece, you guys. I mean, so everywhere cute. you look, <laughs> this house is a treasure trove like no other. Okay, this <laughs> lamp deserves some special attention. Can you tell us about this lamp? That's a Dewberry. We found it in Pennsylvania this year on our trip. And to me, that's just like the entire solar system in a lamp. How could you possibly ask for more? <laughs> Look at the, the detail on it, you guys. The cutouts, the stars on the shades. It's just, it's probably the most atomic lamp I have ever had the joy to own. And the <laughs> epitome of space age. Yes. But wait, there's more. Ah. I know. <laughs> Absolutely spellbinding this unusual reaching out for you to say hello, lamp. Yes, Beautiful majestic. clock, more dancers. I call that the octopus lamp. Oh, the octopus <laughs> lamp? Yeah. And then this little bar stool set, bar and stool set. See, we're back to pink. Of course. Oh, I have my suits for my pink elephants. I love the pink with the red and the turquoise. <laughs> yes. That's and then combo. this is gotta be Whitco. Yes, it is. That is literally the proudest flea market find of all time. We talk about how that will end up in our will. Oh. <laughs> of course, the Sputnik light fixture. And let's talk about Starburst. All about the Starburst. So my favorite piece on this table is probably going to be the rocket ships because they're camel holders. They're just ready to take flight. And what's the rarest piece? The rarest piece, well, my newest piece is the teapot. I'm very excited about that. We found that in the middle of nowhere outside of Atlanta, like two or three hours outside of Atlanta. So you've got the <laughs> gravy boat and you've also boat. got the oil and vinegar. And I have the spoon for the gravy boat that actually has the Starburst on it. Rare, rare, rare. Literally found that at a thrift store, about died. I running around looking for any other pieces. That was the only piece. Look at this wall of goodies and tables and this beautiful piece of Haywood Wakefield. Look at the eggnog is ready to go. This gorgeous lamp right here. There's a pair of them. Again, dancers, dancers, dancers. It's always time for more dancers. Oh, this one's really going. Those for it. Raglor, so they made lamps and then less often they made wall plaques and finding the matching pair was amazing. No easy task. No. Come on into the den. Welcome to our tikiest area of the house. Again, all about the Lucite. You know I can't say no to Lucite. I mean, where do we begin to behold the glory of this gorgeous I call these jello lamps. What do you call them? <laughs> um, yeah, this one is like a lucite chunk lamp is what I normally call it. It was manufactured in San Diego. Usually those aren't labeled and there's not a whole lot known about them, but you can tell this one because it has the black was iconic of the designer here in San Diego. 
which is pretty cool. Love it. This couch is one of my favorite pieces. It's Canadian. And what I love about it is it's so clever. It's modular. So you have your wet bar. How convenient. Right. How about these pillows? Yes, which actually become cushions for your end tables to pull out and become seating when you're entertaining. Again, how convenient. So clever. I know. Tell us about these, uh, what do you call these pieces on the wall? Shadow box. Shadow boxes. Yes. And who designed these? Uh, Illinois Molding Company. So they came out of Chicago in the 50s and 60s. And this one's really funny because it's actually hinged. So these pieces on the side will actually fold up and in, which is super fascinating to me. Interesting details. I'm such a sucker for that like gold on the mirror. I can't, I can never get enough of that. Oh, I know. Oh, how much do you love here, No Evil? See No Evil. <laughs> Speak No Evil. I know. And this coffee table does a trick, doesn't it? It does, it does. This is the grand server. Wow. Again, why make it one thing when you can make it two or three? I love it. Unbelievable. <laughs> and these are all vintage decanters, so they have the different nationalities for the different liquors, which is kind of adorable. This lamp right here, do you know where these lamps are from? I'm not sure where they're from, but what's crazy is this matching pair, um, we mated them up. We had one, and then we actually found those two together, which don't match, but ended up making a set because we already had one that was the copy of this one. <laughs> you know, it's a lot to take in, Emily, looking at your entire collection. I mean, I just can't believe how beautifully displayed everything is. More Carlo of Hollywood. And yes. look at this unbelievable hanging lamp, you guys. Absolutely. I love that gourd shape. I don't see that very often. And we actually have a Witco Dodo hiding down here that came from a thrift shop in Oregon. A Witco Dodo. <laughs> you know, I've never seen the Dodo. I've never seen it before either. It was just chilling out there by the register. And I was like, oh my God, I about died. I need this. And they're like, oh, you can have it half off. It's been there forever. I was like, wow. <laughs> Sucker for all of that beautiful glass when the sun's right it just shines right in here it's like again it makes you happy that that's why i do all of it because it's what makes me happy you can't wake up in a room like this and be sad okay you guys we're going in five four three two one whoa i know you do it with me pink right how much do we love a gorgeous pink kitchen why don't you give us the royal tour? You got it. It's coming together. It will soon be even pinker, but this table is kind of amazing. It was from the 80s, but this is original 50s Wilson art uh, for Micah. Our friend found it at Kobe Swap Meet for us. He saw that and took, like, instantly he said, you guys have to have this. He sent us a picture. I was like, oh my God, I will drop everything. I am on my way. It's stunning. How about this anthrop anthropomorphic? Anthropomorphics are my favorite. I love my salt and peppers. They're so cute. They are ready for their close up. <laughs> I know. See, I just like the walking furniture. I think everything should be able to just like get up and sing and dance. And in and that world, that's how things should be. <laughs> perfect. I love them. They're absolutely incredible. The cats on the wall, the light fixture. Oh, you guys, there's also, okay, barbecue wear. I'm absolutely over the moon. Napkin corral, napkin corral, sandwich stand, cheese, chicken, hamburger, egg, roast beef, and ham. And this guy right here, I love his mood, don't you? Of course, big boy and these asteroid command galaxy. What is this? Those are old syrup bottles. You're supposed to like make your own soda and they weren't like, they only manufactured them for a short period of time. They didn't really go into full distribution, but I am just crazy for them. We found an entire box of them in their original package in Pennsylvania this year on our road trip. And I about died. <laughs> they're so atomic. They're so much fun. And hold Howard. Can never have enough Holt Howard. <laughs> the pixie wear. How much do we love pixie wear, you guys? I mean, again, when you cook, 
things should be fun. Why should, don't, would you more, would, aren't you gonna be more likely to have a fabulous tasting meal when you had fun making it? <laughs> it's totally how I feel about it. I just love, I love that I get to use all of my stuff. That's, that's why I have it. I have it so that way I can, I call it my time machine. So like we come in at night, we close the windows, we put on a record and it's just like, it's 1958. No one would know the difference. <laughs> Okay, now we're going into the inner sanctum. <laughs> Are we gonna see your? Uh... Would you like to see the uh, glassware, the, the land of glassware? Welcome to my Pyrex vault. <laughs> okay, you guys, fair warning. We're going into the Pyrex vault. And how much do we love a Pyrex vault? How much do we love Pyrex? Where do we begin? I know, so tell us about the history of Pyrex. It's so funny. It started for me, my Pyrex collection, really small. I was like, my husband found this amazing dish with the starburst on it. And I was like, I need that. And I cooked in it for Thanksgiving that year. And it was like, so cool. And then I started diving into it and learning about the sample patterns and which years they learned, they made the different patterns. And when they made like specialty lids and didn't make specialty lids, there's a whole wormhole of just Pyrex collectors. Which were I your favorite? To know all the things. Which were your uh, original pieces? Um, one of the first things I ever found was a set of these, which are actually super rare, and I had no idea at the time exactly what? how rare that was. The uh, pink gooseberry. Gooseberry. And then I have actually a lot of the butter print. This is called butter print. Mm -hmm. So you I know the names. Thrifted all the time. I know oh look, some of the, the price tag still on there. <laughs> that one, yeah, it was definitely thrifted. This is pumpkin butter print, which is actually one of the rare colorways for the butter print. Well, we, we should look up close and see what these look like. There's like <laughs> farmers and bushels of wheat and a rooster. This and is one of my favorites is the hot air balloon. Oh, I've and never seen that. they don't make that many chip and dips. So just like the bracket alone is super rare. So don't mind my hoard of other chip and dip brackets because, you know, don't you cruise the metal aisle at the thrift that's, store. That's okay. What's this one called? <laughs> I don't actually know what that one's called. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. No, that's okay. <laughs> I mean, where do we begin? And then glassware, barware. All the barware. I'm a sucker for anything with gold on it. What can I say? I need more barware in my life, which is like a hole in my head, but still, I need more barware. <laughs> you know, it's just so impressive. The, not only the collection, as I said, but the way that you have so beautifully displayed everything. Oh, I give full credit to my husband. He has the vision. I am endlessly lucky to be married to someone that absolutely loves this as much as I do. So we're just, it's like we both came with interest and now together we're unstoppable. Oh, you are? I've never seen this piece right here. Is this the, oh, it's a picture. Yeah. I love, what do you call this? Do you know? Um, I don't know what we call that. I do know what we call that. Oh, what do we call that? I had the box for it right there. Siesta wear. Sorry. Oh, siesta wear. <laughs> siesta wear. That's what we call it. I love the tiki motif on it. There's diamond head, it looks like. I oh, I know. Like every time I know all the kinds of siesta wear there are, I come across a new variation. It's really funny. There are a lot of different. There's one last thing back here we got to look at. And that is this DeForest onion soup terrain. I know. Do you want to come in here and, and show us that? Well, I can look at it like this. Oh, there he is, the ladle. The ladle. I know, I love it. Uh-oh, okay, look here. Oh boy, hope I didn't break it. <laughs> We've seen the kitchen, the cocktail lounge, and little dinette here. That coffee table. Whoa, I know. The dining room and sitting room and the living room and now the, the Christmas tree. The Christmas tree. The Christmas tree. Here we are with Emily Twirls. This is 
is a very special Christmas tree. It is. It's green and silver and I found it in the Long Beach flea market last year and it's the most beautiful tinsel Christmas tree I have ever had the joy of owning. We went for kitschy themed, you know, you've met me, right? Of course. So we added the flamingos and the fun. Uh, have love in my heart for all things kitsch, but that colorway, short of a pink tree, which is still, you know, on that wish list, you never know. I'm, I'm gonna find one one day. I'm absolutely overwhelmed to get to have this fabulous green and silver tree. Well, it's a Starlight by Revless, and Revless is the company that originated the aluminum Christmas tree. And this is a very rare example. It's not just silver, it's emerald green. So this is like the spearmint Christmas tree, and it's absolutely beautiful. You guys, we might as well get it out in the open. Fernando and Emily, you are the greatest collectors of space age, mid-century modern in the Noom universe. Thank you, we really appreciate that. We're thrilled that you came to visit. We love getting to share our love with people that are passionate about this, that care about what we care about. I feel like I'm the luckiest person in the world to have a partner that loves this like I do. <laughs> yeah, we share the same passion and I guess that's what makes it, makes a relationship what it is. Thank you so much, Emily and Fernando, for a phenomenal home tour. You guys rule the universe of all things space age, mid-century modernity. Don't they, you guys? I know. Thank you again so much. Thank you. Really Thank appreciate you. it. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Cheers.